Selen is a major NPC in Elden Ring. She has an extensive questline involving Jaren, Renala, Azur, and Lusat, and some of the most sought-after sorcery build items in the game, all of which will be covered in this guide. As usual, useful timestamps can be found in the video description. Before starting Selen's quest, you may have trouble completing some of the steps in this guide unless you've done the following. First is to activate the Grand Lift of Dectus. You'll need to get both halves of the Dectus Medallion, one can be found at Fort Height in Southeast Limgrave, and the other half can be found at Fort Faroth in Kaled. Once you have the complete medallion, take it to the Grand Lift of Dectus in northeastern Lyurnia. You can get to it by traveling up along the west side of Lyurnia Lake. After reaching the main Caria Manor Gate site of Grace, head east and use a stone spire bridge to cross over to the east side, then make your way north to the lift. You should also defeat both Godric the Grafted and Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. To reach Renala, you'll need to snatch a glintstone key from beneath a glintstone dragon at the map location shown on screen. Run away from the dragon and go use the glintstone key at the Academy Gate to gain entrance to the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. At the end of the Academy is where you'll fight Renala. To begin Selen's quest, you can find and speak with her at Waypoint Ruins in Southeast Limgrave. Agree to be her apprentice, then go through any remaining dialogue. If you want, you can buy all of her sorceries to unlock some additional dialogue, but I don't believe it's necessary for completing her quest. What is necessary is to acquire the legendary sorcery Comet Azur. To find this sorcery, we'll first need to get to Seethwater River. The simplest way to do that is by traveling north from the Grand Lift of Dectus until you reach the Erd Tree Gazing Hill. To the northeast, you can hike your way up some rocky terrain, then travel northwest through Windham Ruins. A short distance away, you'll arrive at the Seethwater River Site of Grace. We'll need to travel all the way around Volcano Manor to get the Comet Azur Sorcery. First, we'll head north through the river until reaching Seethwater Cave. Once there, turn west and continue down the river towards Seethwater Terminus. To the southwest of the terminus, you'll find a lake of lava that is inhabited by a magma worm. You can try to defeat the magma worm if you'd like, but it isn't necessary for getting the Comet Azur Sorcery. Instead, just wrap around the lava lake and head southeast past some demi-humans. After passing the Hermit's Shack, you'll be ambushed by a band of demi-humans and a giant rune bear. Quickly move on further to the east, where you'll find a site of grace at the Craftsman's Shack. And fair warning, you'll probably be invaded by an NPC upon arrival to this location. Finally, head northeast from the Craftsman's Shack and make your way through Hermit Village. There's normally a demi-human boss at the back end of the village that you can run past to reach the primeval sorcerer Azur Site of Grace. Nearby you'll find the primeval sorcerer decked out in green glintstone. Interact with him to obtain the Comet Azur Sorcery. With that in hand, return to Sorceress Selen at Waypoint Ruins and speak with her. 
a new dialogue should be available where you show her the sorcery. Afterwards, there should be an additional dialogue option where Selen will task you with seeking out primeval sorcerer Lusat, and she'll give you a seal breaker that will be necessary to reach him. Lusat is located within Celia Hideaway in Kaled. To get there, we'll start at the Church of the Plague, which you can reach by traveling south from Bestial Sanctum. From the church, travel north until you see a large tombstone with a sorcerer standing in front of it. A false boulder is jutting from the cliff wall behind him and will fade when struck, revealing the entrance to Celia Hideaway. Now this is a whole dungeon with a very difficult trio boss at the end, but we'll just be going to Lusat in this guide. Make your way through two initial false walls to travel further into the dungeon. Eventually, you'll want to drop down to the pit below, using a giant crystal to safely descend. At the bottom, you'll find a sorcerer to the north guarding a magic seal. After dealing with them, use the seal breaker to dispel the barrier. Inside, you'll meet primeval sorcerer Lusat and acquire the Stars of Ruin legendary sorcery. To get back out of the cave, head south and hop over a crystal ledge, then immediately ascend up the small tunnel to your right before the revenant in this second pit area has a chance to eat you. Once you've done that, it's fairly easy to retrace your steps back to the exit of the cave. Return to Waypoint Ruins and show Selen the proof that you found Lusat. At this point, you'll need to defeat Radon at Redmain Castle before completing the final steps of Selen's quest. The quickest way to reach Redmain Castle is by using the portal near the impassable Great Bridge Site of Grace. Once at the plaza, speak with Jaren to initiate the Radon fight. And as a quick tip, I highly recommend having a Vigor stat of 40 or higher before taking on Radon. However you manage it, after defeating Radon, you can travel to Waypoint Ruins to speak with Selen. A new dialogue option will have her inform you that her real body is trapped in Witchbane Ruins, a location in Western Weeping Peninsula, just south of the 4th Church of Marika. Unless you have Selen at Waypoint Ruins specifically give you the task to retrieve her primal glintstone, her true body form at Witchbane will not recognize you. If you accidentally hit Selen at Witchbane Ruins, you can repair the damage done by performing the Absolution Ritual at the Church of Vows using a Celestial Dew. Assuming there are no hiccups, retrieve her Primal Glintstone and exhaust any remaining dialogue before moving on to the next step. Before bringing the Primal Glintstone to Selen's new body, you'll need to find and speak with Jaren. This can play out in one of two ways. The first way is by finding him at Redmain Castle, inside the structure where you took the lift down to fight Radon. If he's there, then speak with him and go through all of his dialogue. Alternatively, if you arrive at Redmain Castle and don't find Jaren in his expected spot, then this step was likely just skipped over. In either case, you can head back to Witchbane Ruins where you should now find Jaren. Make sure to speak through all of his dialogue before leaving. At this point, you can travel to Caria Manor in Northwest Lyurnia and make your way through it. Defeat Royal Knight Loretta at the Royal Moon Gazing Grounds and then head west to Ronnie's Rise. From there, travel northeast and stop at the first ruins you come across. There's a false floor hiding the entrance to a secret chamber. At the opposite end of the chamber, there's a false wall hiding Selen's new body. Make sure to speak through all of Selen's dialogue after the transfer is complete. 
and I want to reiterate that you will only be able to transfer Selen's Primal Glintstone to her new body once you've spoken through all of Jaren's dialogue at Witchbane Ruins. And here is an important note for if you're trying to complete Selen's questline late in the game. If both Selen and Jaren can't be found at any of their locations, the questline may have automatically progressed to this next step. For that next step, travel to Rey Lucaria Grand Library. And this is the major decision-making point of Selen's questline. Just outside of the library, you should find two summoning signs. The red summoning sign will have you challenge Selen, effectively siding with Jaren. The gold summoning sign will have you assist Selen against Jaren instead. If you successfully defeat Selen, then you will be rewarded with Selen's glintstone crown and bell bearing. Afterwards, you can head back outside to where the summoning signs were to find Jaren. He'll give you an ancient dragon smithing stone as thanks for your help, and upon reloading the area, he'll be gone. If you want, you can take this opportunity to attack him and get his armor set. However, I would advise against that as Jaren's parting words strongly suggest that his story is not finished and that you'll be able to meet him again in a future update or expansion. And if you chose to go down this path where you challenge Selen, then this is basically the end of her quest and any rewards that you'll get from it. On the other hand, successfully assisting Selen will immediately reward you with Jaren's armor set. You can then speak through all of Selen's dialogue after the fight to get the Glintstone Chris and to have the Shard Spiral spell added to Selen's shop. If you've already found Lucet at this point, you can reload the area and Renala will return to her rightful place, meanwhile Selen will have undergone an unexpected transformation. Find her altered form near some of the book stacks to pick up Selen's glintstone crown. After this, you can head back to Azur's location to acquire his armor set, and you can also go back to Lucet's location to get that armor set as well. Each of their glintstone crowns increases the potency of primeval sorceries, the main examples being Comet Azur and Stars of Ruin. And once more, if you sided with Jaren, you unfortunately cannot get either Azur's nor Lucet's armor sets. And that's about it for Selen's questline. If you're still having trouble with this quest, you can reach out in the comment section where I'll do my best to help. I also recommend checking the comment I have pinned as I'll be updating it with information about specific problems people are having and potential solutions. I'm working on guides for all the major quests in Elden Ring. If you want to find those, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat. Her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day. If you're here today, have a great Saturday, and as always, thanks for watching.